Hi everyone. So everyone pretty much knows that cell phones and electromagnetic fields are bad, but I just wanted to take a few minutes today and actually explain to you guys what it is that makes them bad and how it actually affects us on a cellular level. Um, this not only affects humans, but animals and also plant life. But what I want to specifically talk to you today is about the Krebs cycle, which is basically our body's combustion process. It's how we turn food into energy. Um, I realize this is a little far back and it's going to be backwards, but I'm just using it for talking points. So you just kind of want to listen to me talk about this, um, this process that our bodies go through. So basically we ingest three basic food groups, which is protein, fats, and carbs. Proteins are broken down into amino acids, fats into triglycerides and free fatty acids, and then carbs into glucose. So these all go into the mitochondria and they're broken down by enzymes. Okay. And they're further broken down so that they can have an oxygen molecule added to it basically. So when we get to the point where we're now adding oxygen, we call this the electron transport train. So basically in the mitochondria, after the foods have been broken down further by enzymes, we're now going to pair one electron with one oxygen molecule. Okay. So when this happens, this one-to-one -one ratio now allows the cell to turn this into energy in the form of carbon dioxide, water, and energy. So it's basically combustion or cellular respiration, if you've heard that term before. So this is the problem right here with electromagnetic fields. Um, an electron is what? It is electric in nature. So when you have an electromagnetic field from cell phone towers to your actual cell phone, Wi-Fi, all the disturbances that happen on Earth, that interferes with your body's process right here on the electron transport train, your body's process to pair that one electron with one molecule of oxygen. So when that pairing process cannot happen, what happens is that combustion of our food becomes impaired. So basically you have proteins, fats, and carbs that back up into the bloodstream. So then we get fats that are deposited into the arteries and we also have glucose, which becomes too high in the bloodstream and also gets excreted through urine. So basically what we're talking about is heart disease and diabetes here. So what I'm saying is the disruptive frequencies from electromagnetic fields directly affect your body's ability to work properly and leads to more diseases like heart disease, diabetes, all kinds of things can happen in a negative way from your body not being able to complete this electron transport train properly. So I really focus in my practice on things we can do to help minimize your EMF exposure and also reverse some of the damages with frequency therapies that I do. So please feel free to reach out to me if you found this interesting or if you have any questions. Thanks guys for listening.